If you want to see romantic relationships between older women and younger men, you should definitely watch our picks for the best Canadian older women, younger men movies. And I held your hand yesterday because I like you, Stenson. Oh. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm still crushable. Number 10. Oh, What a Night, directed by Eric Till. This classic older woman and younger man tale is set in 1955, Ontario, when a lonesome teen is trying to find a new place called home with his father and stepmother. After just one meeting, older Barbara is obsessed with him and seduces him into a secret love affair. But rumor spreads fast in such small places, leaving the two to doubt their relationship. We're from New Brunswick. Never been there. I'm from up north, Capus Gasing. So I guess we're both new in this part of the world. Number nine. Long walks in the silent city. I used to be so hopelessly romantic. In Praise of Older Women is a romance film directed by George Cazender. This story that could turn on millions of Playboy readers is exactly what the title promises. When a young Hungarian plagued by war finds himself disappointed by women his age, he turns to older married women, embarking on a journey of sexual discovery, which will result in one hell of a youth. I've almost finished the book you lent me. Your translation is very beautiful. Why, thank you, Andras. Coming from you, that's quite a compliment. Number 8. Heat Wave, directed by Sophie Lorraine. In this extremely passionate exploration of a secret love affair, a woman in her 50s is plagued by the death of her unfaithful husband. Upon meeting a 19-year-old boy, she hopelessly falls for the thought of sleeping with him. Dream soon becomes reality, threatening her career and her social life, but he is just too irresistible. Number seven. Don't you knock? What did you want? Hmm? Normal is a drama film directed by Carl Besai. How do you maintain stability and a sense of the normal when dealing with tremendous trauma? For these previously unrelated people, this is the central question of life. When a tragic car accident brings them all together, a bond is formed that will either destroy or transform each individual in its own way, leaving no space for emotional stability. Do you mind letting me get dressed? Number six. I asked you for a drink. I wasn't hitting on you. It's a drink, that's it. Flirting with 40 is a romantic comedy drama film directed by Michael Salomon. Following the premise of its simple title, Flirting with 40 sees a charismatic divorcee drowning her pain in alcohol and son while on vacation in Hawaii. Upon meeting her handsome but much younger surf instructor, Kyle, she falls into a sexual affair that will make her question her age, her love for herself, and her willingness to stand up and accept the repercussion. Get a room, will you? <sighs> do you have a room? Well, actually, I do. <sighs> Number five. Why do I have Wilfred Brimley's mustache? Stenson, you punched me in the face. You felt that? I thought it was only pretend. Crash Pad is a comedy film directed by Kevin Tent. When you're a hopeless and naive romantic, you sometimes have to learn your lesson the hard way. Convinced he found true love with an elderly woman, young Stensland is soon forced to accept that the woman in question is actually married. And he is just part of a revenge plot that she created to turn the tables on her husband. Whoa, what's your assistant doing in the Swiss Alps? Careful and schmuck, Stensland. Man, she's wearing the out of those hoses. Come, Stensland. Yeah, it's good. Schmuckety, schmuckety, schmuckety. Number four. Turn the light out. Personal Effects is a romantic drama film directed by David Hollander. Pairing sexual awakenings with psychological manipulation, Personal Effects follows a wrestler on the rise of fame who is shattered when his sister is brutally murdered. Following a personal vendetta to find the murderers, young Walter crashes into the arms of an elderly woman. Will this unlikely pairing bloom or push him over the edge? Yeah, I've, um, I think I better keep going. Good night. Good night. 
Number three. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't want you to be angry with me. That Cold Day in the Park is a psychological thriller film directed by Robert Altman. A game of lies is played out down this voyeuristic rabbit hole of obsession. When lonesome Frances sees a seemingly homeless man on a park bench from her apartment window, she invites him in to help fight her loneliness. Little does she know that he is not who he appears to be, but neither is she. I want you to stay here. I want things to stay the way they are. You can understand that, can't you? I can't let you go. Not now. Number two. Um, this is my dad, William. Dad? This is Adeline. The Age of Adeline is a 2015 romantic fantasy film directed by Lee Toland Krieger and stars Blake Lively, Michelle Huseman, Kathy Baker, Amanda Crewe, and Harrison Ford. After an accident in 1937 magically makes Adeline Bowman ageless, she has lived through about eight decades in her prime, never allowing herself to get close to anyone who might reveal her secret but a chance encounter with charismatic philanthropist Ellis Jones reignites her passion for romance, and she makes a decision that will change her life forever. You look exactly like this old friend of mine, um, Adeline Bowman. That's my mother. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Uh, I was just reading. I wasn't expecting company. Uh, I just came by to see if you wanted to uh, join us for dinner. Oh, sorry. I'm decent. Uh, yeah, dinner would be great. Thank you. I find that older women tend to be more in touch with their bodies. I don't disagree. <laughs> I wanted it just as much as you did. It doesn't matter. We have to forget about it. Can you really do that? Because I can. Don't. Number one. You're just, just great. Glad you liked me. I liked you. I loved you. Being Julia is a comedy drama film directed by Istvan Sabo. Elevated by a powerful cast and a game of lies and greed, Being Julia follows an aging stage actress who has lost all her passion for her career. When her husband introduces her to another actor, she is drawn to him, signaling the start of a passionate affair. But when she discovers that her lover is just using her to boost his own career, she plots revenge on his respective girlfriend. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.